Hello, I am Jake with ComputerJ55, and today we're going to be making a tutorial on how to do something cool with the green screen. Now, I've made a bunch of pictures with the green screen, such as City Giants with me and my brother, and then my dad behind a building, my dad in a bowl, me in a desert, a giant person, a small person, my brother in an alligator's mouth, and me in a teacup. Now today, I think this one's pretty cool, so I'm going to be showing you how to do a person inside a teacup. Okay, now, what you're, wanna get, what you're gonna wanna do is take a picture, first of all, of yourself in front of a green screen, like maybe pretending you're gonna be in a teacup, like I have here. So, what I can do is I can take this and save it there. Then I can go to Google, look up pictures of teacup, of teacups or something like that. Let's just find the one I used before. If I can, here. Teacup close up, maybe. No, that can't be it. Here it is. So. I'll just take this one. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring them both into Adobe After Effects, which is what I'm going to be using to edit them. I know most of you people use Photoshop, but this is going to be an Adobe After Effects tutorial. You could also do a video with this. I'm just going to do a picture just to show you how I do it. So um, here we go. Okay, now what you want to do is first, I'm going to make a mask around the sky here, which is me. Well, actually, since I'm going to be in a teacup, you all you really need is the top part. So, yeah. Okay. There. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use key light, drag it out there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the screen color. See, that looks all weird, so we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to screen matte. And then we're going to go into the screen pre-blur and change it to maybe about 1. Then you actually go into screen matte over here then change the clip black over here until all the blacks gone from the background or at least pretty close and then drag the clip white down maybe until drag it until you think it looks pretty good like here we go I think that looks pretty good and then well obviously it's not gonna look like this at the end don't worry then maybe I can drag up the softness a little bit to make it softer. Here, let's go back and look at the final result now. Um, that looks pretty good. Not exactly what I want, but hold on. If you change this a little bit, you can get rid of that stuff in the background. Hold on. Okay, well, that's the basic idea. I'm not going to make it perfect like I did before because I don't want to spend too much time on this, but if I adjust this a little bit... Okay, that that's good enough for now. So, now what I want to do is... I'm going to take the teacup, and I'm going to drag it into a new comp. You can see the teacup here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this comp and drag it on top of it. Now, obviously, that isn't good, so we're going to change the size down. I'm going to drag it down. Okay. That... That looks pretty good. Now, what we want to do is we're going to come down here and take this and go Edit, Duplicate, or Command-D. Okay. Now, that will make another one of these. And what you want to do is take this layer and drag it on top of the picture. So, now, it's just another one on top of it. So, then, you're going to turn the eye off so that... 
you can't see it right now, and all you see is this. Now, I'm going to turn the eye for this one off, too, and making sure that this one's selected, you're going to go up to the pen tool. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a quick mask. I'm not going to make it perfect. In fact, it doesn't even have to really be perfect, but it should be pretty good. Just going to draw a quick mask around here. If I turn the eyes back on, you can see that now I'm in the teacup. See, if I zoom out, it's better quality, but... I'm pretty much in the teacup, so, yeah, and now, um, if, if I press the arrow, then you can maybe move your guy around a little bit, like this, you can move him around a bit to put him in there, now what we want to do is make it so that his hands are actually going over teacup edges, so what we want to do for that is we're gonna duplicate this again you can just hit command D or control D for a um, computer that's on a Mac then you can drag it up above the photo here and turn off the eye just like you did before but this time um, you're gonna leave um yeah you're gonna leave the eye on for this one over here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pen tool just draw maybe hmm, Okay, first, I'm going to maybe drag his him up a little bit more, like this. Okay, that should be good. Now, I'll turn the eye off for this one down here also, so that you can see him. And then, I'm going to take, I'm going to make sure, making sure this layer is selected, I'm going to take the pen tool and mask really quickly around his hands. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to make it at least sort of good, you know? two quick masks around his hands. You can edit them later if you need to. Now, if I turn the eyes back on, oh, wait a second. Forget that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this layer. That was a mistake. My bad. If you want to get them over it, you can, um, you're actually going to duplicate this layer and then drag one above the image and then making sure it's selected you can mask out the hands you can mask out the hands see that'll make it look like um it's sort of over the teacup this time now if you turn that off you can see that you can sort of, ah, you can, um, now sort of move this layer so that they're more over it. Here, I'll just move it to match it up with it. And that looks pretty good. Now, what we can do is we can go in here and press F to feather it. Just feather it out a little bit. And also, if you feather it a little bit, it sort of gives it around it, like maybe it's reflecting a little bit, like a reflection on the teacup. Looks pretty cool. Sorry about the bad quality. It's too small or something, but oh well. And then, um, I could feather this one, um, just a little bit. You don't really need to that much. See, if you do that, it just gives it a little bit more of a reflection, like the orange shirt on the teacup. You don't really need to so much, but it's pretty good. And then if you're in Adobe After Effects, and you want to take a picture like this out, you can go to Composition, Save Frame As, Photoshop Layers, and then I'll just save it as... Well, since I already have one, I'll just call it Teacup 2. I can save it. If I go out here, though, you can see that I'm in a teacup. And anyway, that's pretty much that tutorial, and if you want any more cool green screen tutorials, like any of these, for example, if you want one of these, just request one. I mean, seriously, leave a comment, subscribe, ask me for to do, to do a tutorial, and I'll be more than happy to do it. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this.
Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, write, all the usual stuff that everybody wants you to do. See you later. Bye.